Woo All right. See you in a little bit. See you. Are you hot? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Jeez. Yeah. How do how do we start this? Is oh it's my show, right? You're yeah. the expert. Yeah. Um oh, ladies. Wait, I have to close back. <laughs> Fuck, I was just <laughs> Basically, this whole entire episode that you guys are about to watch was filmed before we announced on Instagram that we were dating. <laughs> so that's why that's like. Nah, fuck that. And they took. <laughs> <it. laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, yeah. Um, I need to say my piece. They took all my material away five minutes before we got on set because they didn't want to poke at them dating. And then these fucking idiots went public two days later. <laughs> no, it was not two days later. It was Shut two up. days later. It was, no. two days later. it was like two so days this later. This episode's incredibly ass, or it's incredibly enjoyable. <laughs> um, and you get to indulge in the life of a delusional boxer and a speed skating world champion. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe and next episode will be better because okay. I won't let them withhold any information or take my material away and <laughs> yep now you guys kiss and and maybe have just kiss <laughs> Woo! me next <laughs> round one no but basically you're, you're gonna see the episode we're gonna get into like all the details um, about her and her life and th this is Yuta Lirdam if you don't know the, the greatest speed skater in the fucking world and we're uh, we're dating we were trying to keep it a secret and then it kept on getting leaked by the paparazzi and all this we were out in public in Miami together fucking pants, <laughs> kissing PDA <laughs> Yeah, but people should just leave us alone. Yeah. Well, Why sorry. can't we just live our lives? You guys live in a fishbowl. Yeah, what's it like dating know. an idiot? Is he like as... Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, he's just... He's like... He's not an idiot in real life. It's just like... <laughs> he's just in front of cameras. You're like actually the sweetest guy ever. I want to expose you one day, but like... It's so different seeing you on video and... Your personality there like online compared to like everywhere <laughs> i just don't get it like, i feel like i'm the same but no, i don't you're know not. definitely not you're, i feel like if you watch all of my content so, like, you could see that i'm a sweet person yeah but, you're actually but people choose to see certain headlines i know but you're actually a little bit more introvert in real life and you're like more chilled and you're like sweet and genuine and more vulnerable. vulnerable and like emotionally open i've never seen it in a guy no really like i've never seen a guy that's emotionally like so open and like it's like actually manly that you you can show your emotion and i think that's really beautiful in you but people don't expect it because you talk like a lot of bullshit online yes <laughs> and they nice. think you're arrogant that's what i thought because you know how we started yeah <laughs> i had such a judgment about you and actually, when we started following each other, people were like, are you guys dating? It was like a whole thing. And the, my answer was like, never, <laughs> never. That was my answer. But then I found out you're such a sweetheart and you're just, I don't know, so genuine and real and down to earth. And I found out you're the sweetest soul. I want to talk about her. Yeah, because people don't realize like how amazing she is as a human being. No, the world loves her. They hate you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but they don't know her. Like she doesn't. I don't think you've like showed your personality really. I think it's that's what we're gonna get to in the interview here. But it's like you're so sweet and caring and genuine and loving and you your fam family oriented and so happy and joyful and full of laughter. It's and caring Stop. and talented and smart. I mean, you know. Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, anyone out there, Jasper's yeah. single. I just dropped 30 pounds. I'm handsome and shit. Wealthy, handsome, young, successful, successful. famous, funny, do? my best friend in the whole world. Like, so, yeah, okay. someone, someone yeah, hit his really cool. He's my second favorite person here. Second? Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, but like, it's really hard for me to like show my personality online or on video or something because I always think it's like kind of fake. I feel like I'm watched and then I just can't like I don't know. I just really want to be It's myself, hard to do. It's, it's really hard. hard to do. It's hard to come across as who you are in real life because people only get glimpses of it. True, but if I'm crying like I cry enough. You cry. Like, <laughs> I don't it's want, so cute. I don't want to always like show it because if I take my camera while crying it feels like I get That's I want weird. attention yeah. from it or something. So I never want to make it look like I want attention but I also want to be like 
myself but lately i can be it in interviews like i can just tell what i'm thinking if i'm on my period and i have a bad day and i have a bad race i just tell it like that's how yeah. i am now i still don't think people see like i know they know you're amazing but like if they met you in person they would realize you're even more amazing mm, so sweet and that's what's cool about it but you're too so that makes sense no, it makes I three of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, Juka. Yeah. Is that our relationship name? J U K A? It's really ugly. No, Juka is the best. What do you yeah. think the biggest challenge is going to be in you guys? Is Whatever this is. <laughs> Everyone hating her for dating me. Uh, yeah, that's what I was already expecting it because, like, I had my own audience and my fans and everything. And for me, it was actually, like, kind of risk dating you because I never experienced much hate. But I just really like you as a person and we connect so good. I think it's also because I'm in my own bubble and people want something from me. And i just very protective of like my small circle around me. And you have the exact same thing, but like even bigger. And I think that's why we can really connect. To all my fellow Netherlands people out there, please stop hating on her for dating me. Uh. <laughs> no, it's okay. Like If they knew you, if they would have one conversation with you, they would think totally different. Like, That's why the tattoo on the back of my neck says, I wish I could explain. And I wish I could explain, like, how nice you are. But, like, I can't but even explain But they won't. They won't listen. And they won't even want they to won't. know. They don't want... They want me to be the villain. Yeah, that's what I mean. But, so. like, let them, let them think that. You're a your sweetheart. What's your favorite thing about each other? Everything. Um, no, no, no. You gotta pick one thing. That's impossible. Stop. I'm getting uncomfortable. <laughs> I would say when you get so happy and laughing so hard that you like start to cry, it melts my heart. <laughs> and you're like just having so much fun and like just happiness is emitting from you and it makes me happy. That is so sweet. You don't have an ego in love. It sounds weird, but you you just and you're already yourself and you can be really yourself with me and I can really be myself with you. I trust you from the beginning. It's like really weird. And I think it's also because I see like you're meditating as, uh, super, like a lot and you are really like in tune with your emotions and you're like very open about it and everything. And I feel like you trust yourself and that's why I trust you. Who's the harder working athlete? I'm not sure. You like, work I, for longer, I think, throughout the year. I think we both work really fucking hard. I think hard. you are doing like a lot of high intensity and I train sometimes smarter than you. Yeah, I'm learning. She's my new nutritionist and she's helping me because I want to be like her. I want to be a world champion. I told oh, you yeah. that the other night. I, I was like, I want to be like you. <laughs> <laughs> Between the two of us, we have over five world championships. And all five of them are on her No, 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 no. Between the two of us. You work really hard. Like, I didn't expect you to train so hard. I can see that like, you're so focused and so dedicated. And, yeah, I just have a lot of respect for that. You're literally waking up, training, Meeting, 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 meeting. You're doing recovery, everything. Training again, eating, sleeping. That's your day. And I think people should respect it more. Thank you. Yeah, um, <laughs> I, I really should get out of here. Can I, can I leave? <laughs> Whenever I meet famous people, I try to never judge who they are or assume how they're going to be. Mm -hmm. I take them for who they are when I meet them in person, regardless of any headlines that have been out there, because I'm a victim of this. I'm a victim of all of these things and stories and rumors and controversies being out there about me that like aren't who I am actually. And so I try not to judge other people because I'm like one of the most judged people I feel like in the fucking world. Um, and I guess, yeah, like, <laughs> I DM'd you to be on this show. That's how it first started. No, yeah, first your management DM'd me. And then they DM'd me that you DM'd me. And then I saw your DM, like, a week later. And I thought, like... But it was just, like, excited for you to come on the show. Yeah, of course. But, like, I didn't want to give you any hope. So I was just thinking about, like, just ignore you, like, a little bit more. And then, like, then just be friendly. I already and knew we were going to date before. No, yeah, you knew. I like, manifest. I already knew. I already knew. I could just... <laughs> I swear to God, like, I already knew. I just knew our vibes were going to be, like, boom, to the this moon. That's crazy. Yeah. I can just tell. Like, when I know something, I just can feel it in my soul. I'm going to go now.
<laughs> so like um, after three days, I remember I was in my training and I just did the rep of squatting and stuff. And then I looked at my phone and we were you were texting me and I was texting back. And I, I remember I was laughing at my phone. And, my and then he sent her flowers in the first week of them talking <laughs> like a fucking turtle. <laughs> Bro, no, this is really cute. I like no, it. No, that wasn't in the first week of talking. Yeah, it, it was wasn't like the first week. No, it was like a month. No, no it was like after. Bro, why are the sea eaters on? I'm about to have some like, a baked booty in this motherfucker. No, but you said the flowers, you send them like almost a, one and a half week later. After. Yeah, because you didn't have a Valentine's. <laughs> and so I didn't, I didn't want you to not have flowers. I know. Pick. It was. I was thinking of you. Why didn't you send me flowers? That is so sweet. And he sent him to my trick, my ice trick. Yeah. So no, funny. that was like three weeks after we were talking. Mm, but it's fine. It's you, you came out fine. of the friend zone. Like. I fought my way out that shit. No, but bop, bop, bop. No, but to all my bros out there, if you're in the friend zone, don't stop swinging. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> no. Fight your way out no, of that like, shit. I remember like you watching my race in the first week. You were in Dubai for the fight, and you like downloaded the VPN, and you like immediately watched my race, and you put like so much effort into me, and really getting to know me, and not just like the skater Utah or like with Instagram or anything. It was just like you really wanted to get to know me as a person, and. I just, I just, I just really like that. You just didn't care about everything around it. You were just like, really wanted to know my soul. I adore you. I adore you. I'm gonna be sad when you leave. I, I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Me too. This is sad. I know. What are we gonna do? FaceTime. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it's gonna be mostly long distance, yeah, because. I have goals, you have goals yeah. with a busy life. But I think it's good for both of us so we can focus we can for sure on what focus. we need to accomplish. 100%. We got this. <laughs> Round two! Can I ask you something a little personal? Yeah. What's your social security number? Who's ass niggas hella personal shit? Welcome back to BS with Jake Paul. The first minute of the episode, no Don't swearing. Swear. All right, so go I freak yourself. That. Round two. Welcome back to uh, BS with Jake Paul. They told me to speak louder this episode. <laughs> this is perfect. Really? Are we rolling? This show, uh, we bullshit around uh, and talk about sports. And today, we are joined by one of the most incredible, phenomenal, talented, beautiful ladies. In Thank sport. You. Oh. Jasper? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you crying? No, no. I have to stop playing. We are joined. Does she cry a lot? Yeah, She's crying she right cries. now. She cries a lot. It's, it's insane. Laughter or like real tears? Oh, no, above. from laughter. Those mostly. are real tears, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's pretty bad. We, we are joined by the queen of the Netherlands, the queen of the ice, one of the most talented speed skaters in the world. The biggest speed skater from the Netherlands, the highest paid female speed skater from the Netherlands. 15 for 15 races perfect this year, all gold, 1,000 meter, silver in the Olympics, Mrs. Yuta Lirdon. <laughs> oh, you finally said it right. That was good. That was good. That was good. You said, said that it. good. You said, I that said right. it good, right? You said it really That's good. That's actually. That... Did you practice in the mirror? Absolutely. Yeah. Like, yeah. Before, <laughs> before, he, before, before he met her, he was on Google Translate. No, no, no. That's not true. <laughs> Trying to pronounce shit so he can send a voice message. Back. I, I have a question true. that I have, I have medication video, though. I've got a question for her right away. Yeah. Okay. You have 18 medals for your country. Is that correct? That's possible. I didn't count, but it's possible. Yeah. I think I counted about three hours ago, and you have 18 medals. Do you like winning for your country just as much as you like winning for yourself, or do you like winning for yourself more than for your country? Well, I never got this question. I think it's like even. I like winning for myself, of course, because I just like to win. But I also like to celebrate it with like all the Dutch people and with the crowd. And I like to be in like the orange color, which is like the national color. Yeah. So I think it's like even, yeah. Do you do you get mad when people like can't pronounce your name? No, like it's in just a, normal now. In America, your name is well, they would say Jutta. Yeah. That's what I thought it was at first. Yeah, in the Netherlands they say Jutta, but it's actually Yuta. So I just don't even correct them. It's, I, I wanted, just, I wanted to hear a cousin over here pronounce it because his Chicago accent. Oh, you want me to do it? It's uh, Utah. 
But that's good. That's good. That's good, right? Yeah, that's good. See, you were, you were expecting me to fuck that up. <laughs> I Human form like deep dish pizza. But you can actually but say it like you state you Utah, Utah kind of. But you're, but, okay. But like, not you, like the state Utah. Yeah, yeah, kind of. But, like but than, not really. Yeah. <laughs> I was reading about some of your history. Um, you have kind of helped transform uh, ice skating, I guess, in general, in your country. Like, you're like the face of it for the female population. I really like to like inspire the younger girls and stuff to just, not even just skate, but just to like work out because it's like healthy and all these kids are like on their phone all day and it's just good if they just go train and it's nice that I can inspire them. So that makes me really how happy. Did, how did you get into speed skating? Is it like a, like a family thing or like what got you into that? It's like the biggest national sport. So oh, wow. yeah, like almost like every person in the Netherlands, they learn how to skate. And my dad really liked the sport. So he was like, I want my kids to be able to skate. So he put us on skating and me and my sister, my sister like quit after three times <laughs> because she didn't like it. And I didn't like it either because it was really hard, but I pushed through and I really liked to see my dad proud. So that so was like the biggest reason in the beginning. Their, their like speed skating is like America and football. Oh yeah. wow. That's and it's called it's called awesome. But we have soccer is really big too. It's like soccer and, and skating. Yeah. It's called Schatzen. Schatzen. That's speed skating. How do you how do you pronounce it? Schatzen. <laughs> yeah, I'm not Scottsdale. Yeah. I love it there. Arizona. <laughs> so here's a question. You said you didn't like it at first, right? Yeah. When did you realize like, hey, maybe I should stick with this, whether I like it or not, I think I have what it takes to obviously be an Olympian, compete. When did you feel like you kind of, you know, in your in your your lifetime where you said, all right, I gotta stick with this, I gotta be dedicated, do it? In the beginning, it was just like improving myself. I really liked that. So like every time I skated, I was better than the day before. So that was really motivating. And I think when I started like winning, uh, just from my junior group, like my age, um, I was like, I'm actually really good in this. And then every year I started like winning the my age group and then I became a senior and then I started winning there. And it's like the winning motivated me, but also like every day I like to just improve myself. And because I do that, at the end I win. So it's just like I see it like day to day to day and then I end up being good. What's your training schedule like now? Like, are, like I see Jake during his fight trainings and he'll like turning into a different person. He's like, I'm in fight mode. A robot. Like, when do you, like, okay, I gotta go into skate mode. Like, when do you lock in or how, do, what does that process look like? I think it's different with fighters than with skaters. We're like always in skate mode. Always. Only, like, there's one month we're off season, but for the rest of the year, we're always like training really hard, especially in summer actually, because we have to, yeah, build our condition there. And then in the winter, we have like a lot of races, so we can't train as much as in summer. We train twice a day. So it's safe to say you're a better athlete than Jake Paul. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 100%. Sorry, maybe I am. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think, do you have stronger legs than me? I think I, I do. Yeah. That'll be a fun gym yeah, episode. Can I tell arms? you two something that I just couldn't help myself? Both of you guys, if it, I mean, no. listen, I, I'm not saying anything, but if push comes to shove, <laughs> One day you two end up having a kid of some sort, he's gonna have legs like a fucking animal. I mean, yeah. he is gonna be a monster. I would like to actually personally take this time to ask if I can make an investment uh, in the child beforehand. Can I get Because I, I think he's gonna be a kid? star. Yeah. I really do. He's gonna be big, blonde, awesome. Big, blonde, and beautiful. Big, blonde, and like beautiful. Me. Like Jasper. Like Jasper. <laughs> Is there a specific reason as to why I'm I'm not sitting in the in the what you would call the love no, love no, seat? No. I do find it very interesting that you kick Jasper out of his assigned seat yeah, for this episode. I really like it there. Actually. I didn't do that. Okay. I think you just like this spot the best, right? Yeah, it's my good side. These, these these aren't like appealing. Three dudes, one couch. Three dudes, one couch. That would be a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> if we put Jasper in the middle, it'd be a reverse Oreo over here. <laughs> That's true. Fucking deep dish pizza. That's true. Um, you, I've got a question. Um, did you call her you? I did. I you. like that. Yeah, yeah wow. I really like that. My family like does too. My that, friends do. That's They're, like the nickname. Yeah, but like no, only like the close you. people they call me youth, and if they do, I, it makes me happy. So it's good. Well, I want you to be comfortable with us because for one, I was really excited to meet you. Like I, I've, I looked you up because I'm gonna be honest, I'm not big into the Olympic world. Like I don't understand that. 
but knowing I was going to be interviewing you, I, I did some digging. Okay. Um, or did you just come out of a relationship? Um, like almost a year ago, yeah. A year ago? But that was with the other skater, so that was pretty like easy. We had a team together. So yeah, then you're 24-7 together. But like for now, of course, it's like hard to date because I have a super busy life. I'm you don't want to date in the skating world anymore, I'm going to assume, right? No, never. Is Is dating in the skating world like the whole Olympic thing all together? Is there a lot of people doing that? Or is that like a, was that like there a- There are, but I, I wouldn't recommend it because it's like Toxic. it's a small world and you're like 24 seven together and I don't think it's really good for what nationality was your ex-boyfriend Dutch too Dutch yeah are we done with Dutchmen the Dutchman <laughs> Dutchman that's funny <laughs> I will never say forever but for now yeah okay fair there's so much going on in my mind <laughs> <laughs> what's up Jasper nothing I think you guys are like pointing to the fact that people online like are speculating that we're dating. I saw some Google stuff. We so saw I, some Google. I think they're trying to like bring that up and like make it funny. Okay. But what we just can't go, we're not able to go to dinner together? I don't know. That's what I'm saying, like with our friends. You're my bro. That's what I'm <laughs> saying, like we're, we're bros. That's cool. Look at this. A handshake, we don't even have a handshake. Shit, do you guys do that before the show? You guys taught each other that before the show, huh? No, it's because we're bros. <laughs> oh, okay. We just know what's gonna happen next. I just wanted to make sure. Why don't we have a bro handshake? Because we're bros, I don't, we don't have I a handshake. I just think we live bro. in a... No. No handshake here. We do have a handshake, but you forgot it. No, I didn't yeah. actually, I don't know. It's, it's the elbows in the, in the... Yeah. Well, Jake, it's your turn. I've been grilling her a little bit. I haven't talked to you in a while. You live in a different world than I live in. With being an athlete and dating, do you find it difficult? Definitely, definitely. Very selfish lifestyle. Yeah, it's a selfish lifestyle. You have to focus on yourself. And I, I guess I don't think it's selfish. I think it's like you want to be the best, and that's like what you're dedicated to. Yeah, yeah I mean, but, from like but, naked eye, it's selfish. Like that person. I mean, I think we were kind of talking about this. Like, you kind of have to put your career first. So wouldn't you say that would be helpful then if like an athlete dated another athlete because they're both on the same page and saying, hey, we need to do what we got to do as far as athletes and put our career together and then we can spend time together and kind of mingle and whatnot. I think that would, that would yeah. I, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that would probably be good, honestly. What's fun, right? funny about that? Yeah, no, it would, pro it would probably be good. So what's your least favorite part about uh, speed skating if there is one? Whether it's from like training mm. or like actual race or maybe it's just like the lifestyle around it but that's not that's because of speed skating but just like more um the private life that's not private anymore maybe that's like sometimes i don't sometimes i don't really like it so i think that's the least favorite thing yeah is it is, uh, is it like overwhelming to have so much popularity like within the sport and even outside of it yeah i think sometimes it, before i was always like no i it's like, okay, but yeah, you can't go. You really have to watch what you're doing. And sometimes that takes away the spontaneousness of things. So, yeah. yeah. Do you ever just want to put a hood up and go to the movies and like not be seen? Just like sometimes, go and be a normal person. Sometimes, yes. But for me, like if I go to different countries, they don't recognize me. So that's really nice for me. But I think for you, it's like hard because wherever you go, the kids are running behind you. Right? Yeah. After. Yeah. I definitely want to do that, but I can't go and I can't do it anymore. Yeah, remember you it's, tried the cat like. <laughs> I, I wore I wore a full disguise once to a mall. Mustache, glasses. Mustache, everything. I walk in the mall. Five seconds later, he covered his whole body. I covered my whole body, and they looked me. This kid looked me in the eyes and he goes, goes, "Jake, Jake Paul." Paul. <laughs> wow, what'd you do? Five, you shit. five fucking. I said, "Gosh, darn it." Gosh, darn it. Yes. I don't even swear. You, do you have a great shoe game? Thank you. Are you, are, do you are you a big shoe girl? I'm a big fashion girl, I think. I really like fashion. Um, I, fa like, you're, you're tall. Fashion loves you, for sure. Thank um, you. But you sometimes it's hard because my body's kind of weird because I have, like, a lot of muscle and stuff, so it's, sometimes it's hard. I know it's hard but to you... be so ripped. I'm sorry. No, I'm not <laughs> super ripped, actually, because, like, before I was way more ripped, but that didn't work for me because I, I was, right was too skinny. Oh, he's not listening. No, he's, he's listening. I'm... Yeah, he's fired. <laughs> yeah. They... <clears throat> no, but before, like, I was way more ripped, but that didn't help me at all. It actually made me so much slower. So when I gained actually a little bit more weight, or actually like a little bit more fat, I. That's probably the reason why this year was 
a really good year for me because normally I would cut so much weight. It made me really weak. And this year I just didn't do it because my coaches were like, you have been through a lot this year. Just don't do that because it takes a lot of energy and you're already like pretty stressed. So just don't do it. And I didn't do it. And my body thanked me in winning. I love that. Do you think yeah. I could be a speed skater? And Maybe, yeah. Like, do I have, like, the optimal physique? <laughs> don't, you, don't, you don't have she to She laughed at you immediately. I don't think so, sorry. Why? What's funny? I don't know. You, we should ask her. <laughs> you, got a, you got a big ass. You could, you could get the glutes down low. It's that squatting position. Do you think that Jake Paul would be a good speed skater? No. I think he what? would have been if he was starting young. We, I mean, we just talked about this, like... Yeah. What's young, starting young in speed skating? Like, how young is starting young? I started at 11 or 12, and that's pretty late. Really? Yeah, normally wow. like they start like around six or something. You just start with like infants that. on skates. Do you ever look at the kids who are six and like, hey, you know, you started five years before me, and you know, <laughs> I'm better than you. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I, it's good if they start early. I think. I think um, outside of speed skating, you live this like normal, like fun life with your family, and it seems like you're very family oriented. Mm -hmm. Is that like one of the best things in your life? Yeah, for sure. No, they, because they're always there for me, they always come to support me, and just like, they're just like the sweetest, I just have the best family ever, actually. Who, in your family, who's your best friend? Uh, sorry, mom, but like my dad. Uh, <laughs> As no, a father I, of three daughters, because, that makes me really happy. I love no, that answer. No, because like, we, we like train together and everything, and he took me everywhere. And my mom is actually the sweetest too. So I have like a really good relationship with both of them. And my sisters are nice, my brother's nice. Like I just have the best family. I, and they're like such like a support system for me. And because they are there for me, I can do what, what I like, which is like training a lot and speed skating. And they're always there to support me. So that's, that gives me like a super safe, good feeling. Do you ever feel like you could hear your family's voices screaming when you're in your in your... I know where they are. So if I go in that corner, I know they're standing there with like a group of like friends. You don't get nervous like, to see You could hear them around the turn? If it's like, if it's like not so crowded, I can hear them. For sure, yeah. I can hear like a lot. I even like hear the time of my lap. I listen to like the speaker, what my That's time was. That's crazy. And my coach always say, don't, don't do that because it takes time. But it's just like something I just want to know that I want to know like immediately which was a good lap. How fast have you ever gone on skates? Um, I think on the World Championship, I did 56 or 57 kilometers per hour. <laughs> That's crazy. That's nope. kilometers per hour. Have you ever fallen going that fast? Um, yeah. Yeah, it's like um, two months ago or something, I fell in the corner with training, and my Hit skate was like, there was like a bend in my, in my, in my uh, blade. Did you hit the wall? I hit the cushions thing, the, is the there boarding. Is there footage of this? No, there's not. But I have one tripping on my on my Instagram. I'm like, is it scary? It's, it's really hard. Ice is really hard actually. Yeah. Like my knees hurt. It's pretty painful. Has there ever been but a moment in your career it. you wanted to quit? <laughs> actually, when I was like 15 or 16 years old, I told my dad in the car. I remember where we were driving, and I said to him, "I'm not sure if I really like this because I was like." I don't know, we were, I was junior and I, I, I don't know. There was just like one moment and I, I told him that and he was like, just do whatever you, f what, what feels good. He never pushed me. Like my wow. family like never pushed me and because of that, I always continued because then I really listened to like what I wanted, which was just continuing and just doing it. So I think that's the best tip to parents who are listening to this maybe, like never push your kid because they will always do what they want. So it's, that's, what, that's really helped me. I love that. That's that's I a think great Greg point. Paul should listen to that message. <laughs> <laughs> great. Dad, if you're listening, please just play that back a couple <laughs> times. He actually that's watches sad. all these episodes. I think you should do an impersonation right now of Greg, like, why the fuck did you lose that fucking match? I fucking blew you away. What the fuck? Why weren't you shooting alone? Fucking snap his fucking head down. What the fuck? Come here. Come here. <laughs> Gotta drive home a loser today. And, yeah. you, and you have him in oh, your corner? Oh, that's a bad combo. Mm -hmm. why, I, don't, I don't understand why you'd have him Are in your you corner. Okay? I don't have a fucking choice. What? Are you okay? He's not okay. You just relived some childhood trauma? Yeah, I wanted to good. see a little of the, I wanted to see it. I'm okay. okay. I'm good now. <laughs> this episode shouldn't air. So yeah. this is Derek. Yeah? This is Derek. <laughs> Derek, can you stand up? He's really big. 
Hi, Derek. Hi, Derek. His name's Down Bad Derek. Yeah, I saw him. I saw him on the Instagram or on YouTube somewhere. Yeah. Don't say that. Don't say he that. He bet against you. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Do you have a friend you, that? You, yeah. Go we're ahead. trying to see. We're trying to get him a girl. Okay. Hey, do you have any friends that? Uh, okay. Derek, how old are you? I don't know. What's that? How old are you? I actually just turned 23. You're too young. Sorry. So you don't have a friend that would go out on a date with him? He's 23, and I think he's a bit too young for them. No. How old are your friends? 24, 25. I have that's friends of 40. Well, that's like the same age. <laughs> no. She's, I, you said a bit too young or skinny? Too <laughs> young. Oh, <God. laughs> I just want to make sure, because you said a bit too young, and then I you said told... your friends are 25. <laughs> so I just want to make no, sure. No, but we don't, like, I don't yeah, think they so would make people younger. Do Dutch men look like that? Do you like his beard? Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> you have a good bear. <laughs> it's nice. Wow. We don't support bullying here. No, but I would bullying. think about it, like, if I can think of someone. Wow. Uh, the ni oh, Nink. <laughs> Nink no, is single. You. Nink, Nink. Nick, Nika. he's saying Nika. Nink. Nika. He's got you with Nink, cuz. Are you figuring it out or no? Fucking beard. He's gonna fucking Crazy. set you up to take Pull Nink your head to dinner. Out your ass, brother. <laughs> This is the first time okay. I've seen Derek embarrassed, honestly. He's embarrassed right now. <laughs> yeah, that's sad. Yeah, you're not so tough with her around, huh? Olympic athlete shows up, you're not talking shit. Oh, NBA, you're NBA you're NFL talking, star comes in. An NBA star comes in, you tell him a choke wow. artist. Wow. Wow. So you don't think John Jones is a real athlete? What was he here? But you talk shit to him. Yeah, I, I didn't talk shit. I just said I was betting against him. Like I did to you and I told you. It's not talking shit, it's being honest. Why is your personality on social media like so different than you want in real life? It's a great question. You no, you know what? That is a phenomenal question. It's a great but question. here's what I'm starting to not realize. What do you mean by that? Like what personality on social media? Like <laughs> what does he do on there that you think would make people upset? I think people think he's like super arrogant, like talking about shit. He plays a villain role when he's not a villain. Yeah, like, why do you do that? Yeah. I had no choice. <laughs> the, yeah. You have a choice. He wants to be a villain. No, the villain the villain life to, chose me. No, I, it's because the media painted a picture of me. No, but you're talking like a lot of like shit on, on social media. Yeah, because that's my job. That like boxers talk shit to other boxers and say like, okay, I'm gonna if win. If you say it, it's like pretty harsh. And maybe that's a boxing thing, but I will never say I'm gonna win. Because you don't have to sell pay-per-views. No, that's maybe true. But what do you? But what do you think the biggest difference is then? Like, how how do I go online and be like, like people hey, here's who I am. No, that's true. But like, people will never expect like how sweet you are actually, and also to your team and to your friends and to your family, and to your fans and to everyone here. And I don't know. They just don't know. It's crazy. I think Jake is a victim of his past when it comes to his social media. Stardom? Not a, um, not a victim. I, I'm, a victim can also be a successful victim, right? He became who he is by being the guy that's in your face and not afraid to say what he's going to say. <laughs> yeah. And unfortunately, I don't think that... I, I, I'll say this right now. I've had to have the same conversation with a thousand people back in Chicago. Is Jake Paul really a prick? Yeah. And I'm like, no, he's actually a really nice it's guy. Crazy. And if you met him in person, you'd feel different about it. But it's hard, right? Because when he can meet, you know, when you meet him in person, he's got Marcos, he's got, he's got Brandon, he's got Gus, he's, you know, he's got backup, and he's never like you, when you get Jake at a house on Star Island, and it's he's got his PJs on, and he's like real comfy and he's cozy. It's different, Jake. It's like you're a teddy bear, brother. You feel like they're, they're, uh, <laughs> like if the boxers knew what a teddy bear he was, he might not get the fights that he needs. That's funny. no, that is that is true. You do you feel like there's it. pros and cons to that, or like? What's you, like, how do you weigh on that? I think it goes back to people just choose what they want to make of someone. And there's so many articles and headlines out there that go viral of me. And then people create this image in their head of who they think I am. And it's just honestly too late at this point. Like all these other clips could come out and all these other things that I do could show. But this like certain image that they have of me has been going on. I've been in this shit for a decade. I realized this, like I woke up after I turned 26, and I was like, damn, I've been doing this for a fucking decade. Ten years, yeah. I am, I am a fucking old Bro's fucking hag. Old. Pushing 30. No, but, like, for, think about it, like, 
I think for I think also for like seven years of my career, I definitely was borderline like crazy and arrogant and a douchebag. So I think the seven years is what people are holding on to. Well, you wouldn't be who you are today without those seven years. Exactly. So I hate to say it. Sometimes you got to put that dog inside of you. And maybe I can't relate it to anything that you do in your Olympic trials or the, the races themselves. But if you don't have that fire inside you, you might not be as successful as you are today. And I think that's kind of like how his life has turned out. Yeah, no, I don't regret it at all. But I'll be honest with you, though. I think that's what kind of led you to boxing, truthfully. I think that all the boxers, to answer your question earlier, and I'm not a boxer, but one thing I do watch is boxing, and all those guys have a really, really, really strong stance on who they are, and they all expect to win. Because if you're going into a fight, how could you expect to lose? You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah like, insecurity can make you, like, super focused, too, because I drive, like, I drive from insecurity, so, like, the insecurities make me, like, really focused and really sharp. And if I'm not insecure or, like, I'm not nervous or something, I won't skate as fast. So I think it actually helps me in my sport. And in boxing, they're all, like, super confident and they're saying, like, I'm going to win, I'm going to win. And the only thing you can still do is lose because people are expecting you to win. I'm just more like I like to surprise them that I'm winning. And yay. <laughs> yeah. I, I probably wouldn't say that I'm going to win if, like, I didn't have to sell hella pay-per-views. No, okay, yeah. Like, they, they stick us up on stage with microphones and say, like, talk. talk. Yeah, no, so okay. it's, I get it. It's like, I think that's where it comes from, but there, there's definitely less respect in boxing for our opponents than in speed skating. I feel like speed skating is like an elegant sport. No, of course I want to win, but I can, if someone is better than me, then I just have to accept it and I have to train harder. At the moment, I am the best in a thousand, but not in the well, Actually, since you're so interested in my fucking dating life, why don't we clear the elephant in the room? Are you guys dating or not? <laughs> Are we? Well, it's been an absolute <laughs> pleasure having you on the show today. Do <laughs> um, you want us to step off? Maybe Jasper can answer the question. <laughs> you want him to answer that question? Are you guys dating? We were, <laughs> and then, he started talking to someone else in this room. Might be one of the deep dish pizzas. <laughs> we're the deep dish pizzas now. That's what we're known as. Yeah. Maybe one of the guys in the crowd. Have you ever had deep dish? Well, you're gonna come up to Milwaukee with with, uh, with the whole team. We'll go to the speed skating ring in Milwaukee, and we're gonna get deep dish pizza. Don't ever eat deep dish pizza. Is deep dish like it's, frozen pizza? Like, it's, it's like pointless. No, it's no, like no, 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 no. Oh, thick. I saw it. No, I yeah. didn't eat it. Yeah. Where we're from, it's like where it originated, and it's good. It's like not. It's good. not like the white trash pizza. In, it's in like Miami. actually not, it's not good that at good. all. Okay. You're it's really like good. an advocate for deep dish pizza. I'm not big into it. dish. So something I'm really excited about is is supposedly rumor has it Jake Paul is going to be racing Ute at the ice <laughs> ring. She's going to give him racing? about a. Wait, They're going to. She's going to give him about a 40 minute head start, and she still will beat him. But I'm excited to see I the results. Heard we are in ice hockey skates, and I did it once, so we're gonna see. There's no, oh, you, wow. don't, you don't have your skates with you? Of course not, I'm on holiday. Like, uh, I went on holiday and I'm here. I need to like, start using that more, because I'm on holiday, vacation. sounds so much classier. Yeah. I sound vacation. so white trash. Sorry. I'm on vacation. No, holiday is good. I thought you were teaching me how to skate. I think I am, but I. Do you know how to skate? I think He's I just skate yes. on those. Oh, wow, you finally are honest. I no. don't know how to skate either. Don't I feel know. bad. All right, round three, let's get it. Round three, baby. Load up them horses inside you, girl. It's time to get going fast, baby. Stop it. This is 400 meters. <laughs> it's not even cold here. Bro, the freezer in my apartment has more ice than this. It's like 10, but we can do something on it, it's fine. Yeah, I'm not just going to go. I'm going to do something on it. I'm going to do something on it. What do you have? How do you do it? I just got a taste of what it would be like if I went with her to the Olympics and it's not good. I'd be mad annoying. I'd be like, load up the horses, girl! What do you want to do? You want to get in there? I think you should get in there, brother. Then, yes, do that. Get this man some skates. I have to sign a waiver. <laughs> I don't want to sign a liability contract, though. He broke his wrist at the Better Dodgeball Tournament. You should sue better. Dear Joey Levy, we're running out of budget for BS with Jake Paul. Please infuse more money into the show because you're leaving us out here to hang dry and die. 
And I blame her too. Just because you're right there and there's no one else to blame. Welcome back to, well, they didn't leave, so they didn't go back. Sorry, it's my first day. Okay. We are here, and Yuta is gonna teach us, well, not you actually. Why the fuck are you here? <laughs> I just work here. I have the title for this episode though. My bad. Jasper breaks his neck <laughs> at ice skating. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Just don't cut her head off. Just, oh yeah. Just oh my god. That's really tight. You want it to be tight so that you can cut sharper. Good <laughs> like, That's like what it's called on the ice, right? I don't know any English. This has gone to shit. How do you not, um, like how hard is it to break your neck? <laughs> okay, let's go. What does my mindset need to be when I'm on the ice? <laughs> Alright, no. let's just do this. <laughs> Oh, nah. Wait, 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 wait. I can't do this, bro. Yes, you can. It feels a lot easier in Air Force Ones. It's okay. <laughs> hey, wait. <laughs> Are you okay, Jeff? Oh, this is not, this is not a joke. <laughs> oh, fuck no. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> All right, bend the knees, bend the knees. Why am I just going forward without pushing? She's not even teaching, she's just fucking laughing. <laughs> Skate. <laughs> yeah, rap. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> I don't know what happened, but you're better now. <laughs> oh, this is way better. <laughs> turn, 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 turn. We should like push to the side. Because there's pressure. And it's just that easy, huh? Yeah, just try it. One day. Super kind of fragilistic as we all know. Yes. Super fried? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> See, you can't just do it. <laughs> you see that TMZ? Jasper and Yuta Lidam are dating. Check that out. Always be on one leg at the side. Which leg? You can decide. It's your choice. <laughs> Push one leg, push one. Yeah, good. Ah! Oh, oh my god, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You mean after a race? No, fear. Ready? Fuck you. No. Fuck you. Skating is really hard. It's like it's really tiring. Tough. Yeah, like the condition of skaters, like so good, and you have to be like so strong and condition and flexibility and balance. It's like all the aspects. And you can't make any mistakes. No, you can. That's what I really respect about the sport. I need to teach you how to box. You do. We can do it right now. You can teach me. All right, we're gonna start with the jab. Yeah. So first off, have this right hand here. Squat them a little bit. Yeah, right there. You step, and then what you're gonna do is add the punch at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Twist. She's looking pretty good, I think, right? She could be a champion. <laughs> Try put on the ground. <laughs> you want to spar? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> good job out there, champ. What's your favorite thing to do after skating? I used to love to drink um, chocolate milk with uh, whipped cream. <laughs> My dad always used to treat me with hot chocolate and whipped cream, or I went to McDonald's when I won a race. You should still do it. Sometimes I still do. I'll get you a hot chocolate. Marcos! Thank wow. you. Wow, there's a smiley in there. Wow, this one has a heart. You know, we should cheers, and you should look me in the eye because you know what's happened if you don't. 
pretty good. Wow, this is really good. Hij heeft me omgekocht met warme chocolademelk. Yeah, deal. <laughs> Cheers to that. Deal. Cheers to Op that. omgekocht. Wat voor naam ook. Nee. You did nee. it wrong again. Nee, like a horse. Nee. <laughs> zeg het nog een keer. Oscar. Say it again. Doei. <laughs> Slaap lekker. Yeah. Zellig. Ik win je loop. <laughs> thanks. That was it, right? Yeah, thanks. What did I say? I like you. Oh, fuck. Jay Moy. What's that? I don't think that's that. <laughs> you Ben's Moy, you mean? Yeah, Ben's Moy. You Ben's Moy. Mm, what does that mean? You're beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we should do it on skates. Come on. That's right, mother. I'm gonna make it to the Olympics. All I need is Yuta behind me. <laughs> Look at him having a fucking blast. Wee! Wee! Oh, no, 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 no. See, now you're doing some shit!